what's up guys brand new video the ppsh this thing is destroying lobbies right now this is definitely the meta smg forget about that mp40 don't worry about it it's absolutely rubbish this is the variant you're going to want this is not some high skill variant this isn't some high recoil hip fire build this is straight beams this is going to make your opponents think you have a strike pack honestly this thing doesn't move it's so good you're so quick and it's deadly accurate i'm going to roll a clip let me know what you think about it then let's break this gun down and i'll show you my loadout is that... there's probably more ladders but i don't know about but in, in front of you is like the only way i know about that uh, kid is shooting you is awful with all due respect one's below you Hey, yeah, nice recall. <laughs> what is this building, bro? Boy, this building is like... Dr. Strange's building. Oh, it's so stupid. Welcome to the new meta. The 16th chapel. What oh, makes my heart? That building. Setting rally point. Engaging. Did you just smash glass? No. Form this building. That's good. Excellent work. Never knew what here. <laughs> 22 each. Nice. Nice. All right. So let's break this gun down. For the muzzle, yeah, we're going to bring the recoil booster. Fire rate, it is king. It says minus accuracy. Don't even worry about this. This is a laser beam. We'll make up for this accuracy with a load of other attachments. We're going to use the Zac 300 millimeter barrel. It's going to give you that velocity and range. Trust me, this is actually great. I use a sniper build. So this is basically my support weapon. So you do need a little range to challenge those ARs. And this will allow you to do it. We're going to get that accuracy back and recoil control and accuracy. Again, like I said, this doesn't move. Hit fire, you take a, uh, you know, a bit of a negative and movement speed but it's nothing noticeable you don't really run that slow but trust me this is how i run it the molecular reflector uh you can use any site you want if you want to use a slate you want to use anything you want i just prefer this it's the cleanest site um yeah i mean i've always used it in multiplayer a lot of people use this site in multiplayer so i'm gonna stick with it i'm comfortable with it so the stock we're gonna go to the empress custom Real core control, flinch resistance, accuracy, and recoil recovery. The recoil recovery, not too important. Yes, you take the sprint to fire speed and the movement speed away. But like we said, we want beams. And this is going to allow you to just hit your target. As long as you're accurate, the gun will be accurate. Um, and flinch resistance is pretty huge for those fights when you're fighting. And uh, you want your you know, you want your aim to stay on target, even if you're in a one-to-one a -one trade. So it's really nice to have. But under barrel, we're going to use the hand stop. See, we're losing a lot of hip fire accuracy, but this gun isn't built for that. It's built for just pure aim. And honestly, as you saw in that clip, the hip fire is not even that bad. It, it really is usable anyway. 
you're just not going to win against a hit fire PPSH build. But we're not worried about that. We're just worried about beating them in the straight one to one aim. Again, recoil control and accuracy. We've built that accuracy back. This thing is not going to bloom out like any other SMG. This gun is so, so accurate. This is the big one. This is the mag that changes the gun. You're going to get the more fire rate, recoil control and accuracy, movement speed. So we're going to gain some of that back. And obviously the 71 round mag, we need the bullets. This thing is a lead hose. It is going to be spraying everything very, very quickly. So you do run out of SMG ammo quite quick, but don't worry too much about that. Uh, bullet velocity and range and bullet penetration and minus damage. It sounds bad. Don't even worry about it. This thing is just a shredder. I thought, oh, maybe the damage nerf is going to be huge. It's not. Because you're firing that many bullets, you actually make up that time in the TTK. So it's it's pretty pretty good for that. Uh, I use the hollow point. Yes, damage range goes down. Don't worry about it. You make up for it. Because it's an SMG, you're not always hitting center mass. Sometimes the fights are a bit scrappy. If we hit them in the arm, we're going to do more damage. This is why we use the hollow point mags. I go for the polymer grip, accuracy and recoil uh during sustained fire obviously 71 rounds they fire pretty quick but we want it so it stays accurate the entire clip and this is what does that also flinch resistance again so if we get hit it's not a problem we just stay in the fire fight and we can basically you know work our way through it and just be an absolute one-man army that's how we're rolling with this perk we're going to use tight grip again accuracy and recoil during sustained fire now this is one of two variants you can go with fleet which is movement speed so you're going to gain that back and weapon swap quickness which is pretty good but again i just don't even like to touch the recoil on the controller so we just go with accuracy and recoil and basically you just stand there and beam it doesn't move i will show you that uh in just a little moment and perk two, I go fully loaded because you're just spraying so much ammo, you will run out pretty fast. So having maximum SMG, I know SMG ammo isn't hard to come by, but it's always nice to have it there. So that's my loadout. I will show you what it looks like not controlling the recoil on the controller. It's absolutely insane. So make sure you share this with your friends. This is what your squad's going to be wanting to run in Caldera. I don't think this is going to get touched for a while. I don't think it's going to get nerfed for a while. We'll have to see. It survived the first balance patch. So let's just see with this one. But this is definitely the uh, the SMG meta for now. All right. So let's show you the recall. I'm not going to control it. Let's watch. What? One more time. And I've been killed. But still. Holy moly. Alright. Time for me to jump into this match and destroy it with this PPSH. Catch you guys in the next one. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.